Well, being a teenager isn't easy, and sometimes the pressure of trying to balance everything can lead to making the wrong choice. Fortunately, the Idaho National Guard has a program just for younger Idahoans who may have gone a little off track. Basically, it's a, it's a place of hope, uh, and it was originally instituted actually a little over 25 years ago by the National Guard Bureau to address the need of high school dropouts. Attention! Present! Oh. In tiny Pierce, Idaho, a town of only 600 people, sits the Idaho Youth Challenge Academy, oh. where cadets spend five months working with mentors and instructors. We've helped just over 1,400 kids graduate, almost 1,500 uh, graduate from the program here. And traditionally, about 20% of each class gets their, earns their GEDs, and then 20, about 20% 20 also earns a high school diploma. We're accredited high school. Some cadets are students, like 17-year-old Shelly Mendiv, who wanted to get her academics on track before one day joining the military. I don't want to graduate at 21 years old, so I'm just going to do my GED here. And instead of getting a high school diploma, and then I can like enlist at 17 and just move on with my life. Cadets aren't only earning an academic grade, they're also picking up valuable life lessons. Number one, I would say the grass is not always greener on the other side, because that's what our youth are struggling with nowadays. They think that there's always something better somewhere else. Number two, there's always going to be problems. So why not come to a place where you can learn how to face those problems and figure out how to uh, address them in a, in a productive manner rather than doing the things you've already always done that don't seem to be working because you're the one that makes the grass greener, not anybody else. 75% of the program is paid for by the Idaho National Guard, but that doesn't mean it's just a recruiting tool. I purposefully uh, do not use it as a recruiting avenue because I don't want, you know, there's maybe the, ter the parents, the teachers, the counselors, I don't want them to think this is some type of self-serving uh, enterprise. It, it truly is for the benefit of the young men and women and our society that they go there. One of those benefits, the connection between cadets and their mentors. She's like, basically, I'm not going to give up on you. When she told me that, I was kind of like, like, please stop, because not a lot of people tell me that like they're proud of me or that they're not going to give up on me. And she's one of the very few people who's like, does not give up on a cadet. The Academy is hosting several orientations around the state all this month. And if you're worried about the cost, it's 100% free for those who attend. You can find more information at IdahoNews6.com with this story that I'm going to post in just a bit. And you can also find the Idaho Youth Challenge Academy on Facebook.